Hey guys, this is Tiffany from the Fetch Content Creation Team. And on this video, we will be looking at our wide span shelving Revit family. This multifunctional product could be used in all kinds of spaces, such as industrial, healthcare, public safety, and even museum settings. They are specifically designed for our users to visualize their storage solutions or used to build their own custom solutions right down to the last shelf. This example shows us the wide span shelving product in an industrial setting. Let's see how we could modify one of these products by clicking and selecting it, then heading to the properties tab to the left. Here, we will see a construction section with many modification options. We will see how quickly we could edit this family to meet our needs. Let's begin by entering a beam type and by hovering over the section, we will see a small window pop up and it will give us information about what each number represents. Let's go from two up to three, modifying it to a heavy duty, then applying. Let's go down to enter the number of shelves. Let's bring it up to four and apply. By scrolling down, we will see the materials and finishes section. By hovering over it, a small window will once again show up with information to designate the deck material. Let's change this from two particle board to three ribbed and apply. We could compare to the shelving next to the one we modified and see how we have drastically changed it with just a few modification options. Let's switch over to see our product in more depth. I have already preloaded the wide span shelving, but to import this family, remember, you could do so by opening up your Fetch app, searching for the product, selecting your product and clicking these three vertical ellipses and clicking insert. Let's select your family and head to the properties tab here to the left and then click on this edit type button. This will open up a window with the type parameters that show the product's real world standard widths, depths, and heights available. You could also find other useful information such as the product's lead time. So make sure to go through this information so you will be able to modify your family with its real world options. Let's cancel out of this window. Since we still have our family selected, we will continue on the Properties tab and head down to the Construction section. We will see its first option is to modify it as a starter or an adder. Right now, we have it as a starter. Now let's say we want to add another one. Let's go to the Plan view, select our family, go to the Modify tab, and we will see a Copy option. We could click on it or hit the CO buttons on your keyboard. Once you select and copy, we bring this copied family to the right Place it, then go to the Properties tab and click on Modify Adder. This will modify the family's edge and allow it to be puzzled in with the neighbor product. Now, we want to align these two, and I'm going to hit the AL keys. Let's see how these two look in 3D by clicking the little house button up top. Now, with these two side by side, we will see the difference between them better when making modifications. Let's go back to selecting our starter family and modify it on the Properties tab from it being welded upright to a knockdown uprights. This modifies the side structure and supports. We will have the options to enter beam type number. This designates the depth of the beams. Let's go from one low profile to two standard duty. As we saw previously in our example, we could enter the number of shelves. Let's bring this up to four. Next, it's the enter deck material number. We see how the bottom of the enter section is grayed out with the text beginning with the uppercase actual, then number of shelves, this is a confirmation to the user as to what is actually happening in the family based on what you had previously entered. This could be seen throughout, like the actual beam type. Again, confirming what had previously been entered by the user. Be sure to look out for these. They are usually right at the bottom of each section where the user is allowed to manually enter any type of information. We will see the materials and finishes section. You are able to modify the materials based on finishes and you do so by selecting and clicking on the button with the three small dots to the right. Then a materials window will show up where you could change and modify the material and continue looking through this section. Next, we have the enter deck material number, which allows us to designate the materials of the unit. By hovering over it, a pop-up window with information will show up. It is currently at two particle board. Let's change it to four wired and apply. Let's delete this adder family and continue modifying the starter family by clicking on it and scrolling further down on the properties tab and getting to the dimensions section. Here, we could begin to modify its overall dimensions. Let's begin with the width and change it to 96 inches. Modify the depth to 48 inches. It 
its height to 144 inches and apply. This will instantly modify our family and make it a lot larger. Lastly, if you notice, we skipped over the enter first shelf height. This is because if you look closely, eight inches is entered, but at the bottom, its actual first shelf height is at nine inches. This is because the standard real world dimensions for this specific product does not include eight inches, and its actual first shelf height was rounded up to the nearest available standard dimension. So let's bring it up from nine inches to 12 inches. By clicking apply, we see how the shelf's height was brought up. Now, to sum this all up, we saw how the wide span shelving family is ideal for all types of environments and storage needs. They are customizable and flexible. We saw where to find the products of real world standard dimensions available, what each of the modifications on the construction, materials and finishes, and the dimensions could do, allowing us for a family that is dynamic and adaptable to your needs. So head on over to our Fetch website or download the Fetch app straight to your computer. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.